if you come over here to you know this is this is my stick bait box and this course, these are either a Cinco or a Yum Dinger. Those are the two brands that I that I throw. And there's a lot of different manufacturers of this bait. This bait essentially just really transformed um, plastic baits. When this first came out, if you were in that inner circle, I mean, this was just phenomenal. This style of bait right here would just get bit over any other style of bait in any situation. Okay, and essentially, if you're throwing a Cinco style bait or a stickworm style bait, which is basically they go three, four, five, six, eight, seven inches long, um, blunt end on the top, pointy end in the back, uh, little hook slot. There's a there's a section here where it's an, where it's not ribbed; it's just a uh, um, flat area where it could simulate like an egg sack for a worm. Um, if you threw this bait and it made it to the bottom and you didn't get a bite, there was not a fish there. Absolutely 100%. Okay, that's that's just how successful this bait was when it first came out and still is. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about it here. This is one of those baits that if you if you're really struggling with what bait to throw in any situation, um, confused at all by that, right here, this bait right here, this style bait right here, will get you bites. Okay, so different ways to rig it, we'll kind of go into that right now, uh, a number of different ways. Wacky rig, most of us know what that is, but if you don't, basically it's you know, it's just a short shank hook, circle hook type hook that's hooked more or less in the middle of the worm. And you can use, there are little rubber bands or elastics that you can put on your bait um, to hook, a, hook around, but you can go right through the bait. So essentially that's, that's a wacky rig. Okay, and you'll, these hooks are labeled wacky rig. So you'll be able to buy them. Okay, so that's that's wacky rig right there. You would throw this on a spinning rod, eight ten pound test line, um, in open water areas, safe eight feet. I was going to say five feet, but five to eight feet or or less in water depth with sparse cover. Okay, again, it's exposed hook. Now you can buy these hooks with little weed guards on them. So this bait, you, you could skip this bait up underneath low hanging brush or up underneath the dock or something like that. Um, and you'd have a pretty good chance of getting it back. So that's wacky rig. All right, you can also Texas rig this hook. This, use a Texas rig hook for, on this bait. And you know, essentially just like any worm, you start at the top, put it straight down. I like to go into the, where it starts to bend. You come out, okay. basically you turn the hook. Boom. I like to even have the knot disappear in the, in the head of the bait. So your knot will disappear like that. Keeping straight, it's very important to keep this straight. Mark where the hook bend meets the bait with your thumb. Go straight in for the bottom, straight up like that. Last thing you want to do just pinch it back so the hook is completely buried in the plastic like that making it weedless okay so you you can fish this weightless just like this the hook is going to add a little bit of weight obviously and it's going to sink down like that but you can also put a little 1 8 3 6 ounce bullet weight on it as well for a little bit a little bit deeper water you know you now you're 8 10 12 feet deep you can fish this bait Okay, so you have all those water columns that you can fish with this bait. You can also put it on a drop shot, okay, as well. This is a little drop shot hook. All right, you can do that as well. So this would be drop shot. A lot of people do that. And lastly, it's called the Neko rig. You basically, Take a nail, 
put it in the head of the bait like that and of course you know a pair of snips you can manipulate the size of the, the nail at all you want we'll leave it sticking out there just for demonstration purposes you stick the nail in there this happens to be a weedless Necro hook. All right. Now, it's kind of a, a cross between Texas rig and wacky rig. Throw this, and it's not quite in the middle. It's, it's towards the end of the worm, but that nail weight is going to bring it down to the bottom and have just a complete, like a stand up look to it. All right. That gets a lot of bites. That will get you a lot of bites. Okay, so that's that's pretty much a weightless, I mean, a, a uh, stick bait rigged, weightless Texas rig with or without a weight, drop shot, Neko rig. Okay, so if you're looking for a bait just to get started, this right here will get you a lot of bites in a lot of different situations.